From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Bayou Wild TV. I'm Don Dubuque. And I'm Martha Spencer. We're here at Morton Seafood Restaurant in Madisonville, and we've got a great episode for you today. Got some fishing coming up. Yeah, we're going to head back to Doulard and the, head out with Rob Dupont. He's going to teach you some tips, some how-tos, some what to use, where to fish for mid to late summertime fishing. Kind of skipped a, a whole pattern, a whole season of inshore fishing, uh, spring inshore fishing. A, uh, March and April was not really good for trout. So. Uh, thankfully, redfish made up for it because they were out in full, full, full force and we could, we had pretty good catches and pretty good days with redfish, bull reds and slot reds. Also, we got another edition of the captain's wife, this time Jacqueline Gallo. Very interesting perspective on being the captain's wife, kind of behind Mike Gallo, really interesting. I get asked all the time, where are the fish being caught? Where's Mike fishing right now? And I tell them I don't know. Um, we're both career oriented people. I don't go home and talk about banking and he doesn't come home and talk too much about fishing. He doesn't talk about where he was fishing. Um, but yes, I get those other questions all the time. And I think people think I'm fibbing when I tell them I really don't know. And it's back to White Oak Plantation with Chef John Foltz. He's got a delicious soft shell crab recipe. That's exactly right. You got it just like that. And um, a couple little pretty tomatoes on top, oh, a little bit so lettuce. Good. Huh? This was my grandmother's favorite food. She loved a good soft shell crab. Look at the size, yeah. it barely fits on the bun. And you know what, Doug? Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues. Contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. We're going to head down to Terrebonne Parish with Captain Rob Dupont of Impulse Fishing Charters. He's going to teach you some techniques for mid to late summertime fishing for redfish, trout, and kind of the things you need to know for this time of year. Let's take you down the road to Doulard coming up. This area in particular is between two major rivers. So we have the Atchafalaya here to our west and the Mississippi River to the east, obviously. You've got nutrients coming from the Atchafalaya River as well as from the Mississippi River. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a great thing here. Trout can be notoriously tricky to catch, but using 20 Echo, I've logged all the data to know where they are. The trout fishing has been slow this year because of the lack of shrimp inshore. Uh, we think that the, 
the cold, the unusually cold, harsh winter delayed the shrimp so that uh, the trout really weren't ganged up in the lakes where we normally catch them in March. Um, so they, we kind of skipped a, a whole pattern, a whole season of inshore fishing, uh, spring inshore fishing, uh, March and April was not really good for trout. So uh, thankfully redfish made up for it because they were out in full, full, full force and we could, we had pretty good catches and pretty good days with redfish, bull reds and slot reds. I prefer sight fishing reds. That's that's my personal preference. I love it. Uh, we have a, an area marsh, um, what we call like to call duck ponds, um, in in and around Bayou Saver area, and uh, it's shallow marsh ponds with uh, good grass along the edges, and the water's clean back in there, and you can generally see the fish that you're trying to catch. Flounder we don't really come across too much. It's usually just a one here and there. But we do have a lot of uh, black drum, like puppy drum, the smaller ones, 16 to 20 inches. We catch those by catch when we're red fishing. Uh, we also, today we caught some white trout, we caught some whiting. Um, those are few and far between, but uh, yeah, the main target is speckled trout and redfish. Some of the bigger sharks like we saw swimming around today, I, I would advise to just go ahead and cut that line. And uh, the gaff top catfish have been pretty prevalent out here too. So same thing with the flippers. You definitely want to flip them off if you can. Uh, study Google Maps. Google Earth is one tool that I use regular. Um, no matter how many times I look at Google Earth, I, I find something different every time I look at it. Um, Get some maps at uh, Academy of the area and uh, get you a, a good depth finder to pay attention to the depth where you're running because those, some of those areas interior are uh, really shallow and uh, you'll get stuck pretty quick. And also be careful around the islands. Uh, Coon Island in particular, Coon Point is no longer. It's just a sandbar now and you, you know, if it's any kind of wave action you probably won't even see it anymore. So those are some dangerous areas. Other than that, we don't really have any sunken barges or pilings below the water. So it's a fairly safe route if you stick to the main channels, the main can canals and bayous. Always a fun trip down there with Captain Rob DuPont of Impulse Charters. Coming up next, we introduce you to another captain's wife, Jacqueline Gallo, wife of Captain Mike Gallo of Angling Adventures of Louisiana. Early on in Mike's days, um, he was all about the numbers. And often he would tell me about getting upset that someone wasn't fishing hard enough. And um, I, I think in our conversation, in talking about slowing down a little bit and really understanding what's motivating the person that day, what's driving their, their, their whole day of spending, spending the time together on the water, um, that little piece of advice may be something that Mike has taken to heart and applied towards what he does every day. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. 
Want to be part of the Bayou Wild film crew? Sign up for our Cajun Invasion Wild Pheasant Hunt in the remote hills of South Dakota December 3rd through 7th. Bad River Bucks and Birds provides lodging, meals, transportation, dogs, and bird cleaning. Details at DonTheOutdoorsGuide.com. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Jacqueline Gallo is a professional banker and shares her life with the creator of Angling Adventures of Louisiana Fishing Charters, Captain Mike. I get asked all the time, where are the fish being caught? Where's Mike fishing right now? And I tell them I don't know. Um, we're both career-oriented people. I don't go home and talk about banking, and he doesn't come home and talk too much about fishing. He doesn't talk about where he was fishing. Um, but yes, I get those other questions all the time. And I think people think I'm fibbing when I tell them I really don't know. Welcome to him. Hurry up. Oh, okay. Look <laughs> Green fish and red fish. Dinner. That's a good day in the office. <laughs> she also finds time as a volunteer with organizations that help enrich the lives of others. In one motion, when we come back, when you go forward, you're going to let that finger go that's holding the line. Ready? Go. Oh, I did that. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You can do it again. <laughs> so Bring It Home North Shore started in October of 2013. And when we started, we realized that in the community in St. Tammany Parish, we did not have any type of outfit that sponsored and took care of the kids of our military personnel. There's mom stay out programs. There's great reintegration programs for our military when they return. But we, we didn't have anything that catered to the children. So we founded Grand Home North Shore, and it has been wonderful. A virtue demonstrated in an earlier Bayou Wild episode involving the family of a deployed dad. Hey, Alan. Hey, man, uh, I just want to shoot you a note and just say, hey, congrats for uh, getting selected to, to go out with Don and his team there on this uh, exclusive hunt. This is an awesome opportunity, man. Uh, get a couple days out of school, spend some time with mom. Uh, you and her both deserve a little time away. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of you, man. You're always punching above your weight in school and uh, helping out around the house. So, this is a run right here. Mm -hmm. He could have never experienced hunting like this anywhere else and with the guidance and just it kind of feels like family. Our community has embraced the spirit of our, our organization and our motto which is there for those who can't be and this is simply a way for our community to say thank you and give back to those who serve. While many of our captain's wives are all in their husband's businesses, Jacqueline for the most part is hands off. We're both working professionals but working together is not our thing. <laughs> Early on in Mike's days, um, he was all about the numbers. And often he would tell me about getting upset that someone wasn't fishing hard enough. And um, I, I think in our conversation, in talking about slowing down a little bit and really understanding what's motivating the person that day, what's driving their, their, their whole day of spending, spending the time together on the water, um, that little piece of advice may be something that Mike has taken to heart and applied towards what he does every day. They operate in parallel working worlds, and far be it for Jacqueline to make decisions for the fishing business, but that doesn't rule out suggestions, which Mike puts to use sometimes. I'm a lady of technology. In my banking world, I work for a top-class institution, 
and we have the best technology in the country, of which my husband utilizes about 0% of it. So um, if I did anything and were to interject myself into his business, that's what I would do. A spouse, deckhand, or customer, Jacqueline enjoys her time on the water with her captain. I know stories about his clients, and that's what I appreciate most about what Mike does, is when he brings a story home, he brings the heart of the story home. So he tells me about what it meant to the people there. Um, there's a lot of stories that Mike tells about kids catching their first fish with their parents, or someone's last fishing trip, um, or business deals that people are doing on the boat. That's, that's what he brings home when we do talk. If you've never had soft shell crab, well, you need to. Coming up next, we're going to show you how to make a soft shell crab seafood po' boy. And then we're going to uh, make a po' boy with this. So you see how it's starting to float? Yes. I would let my, I would turn it over at some point. The crab cooks very quickly. You know, I mean, that crab cooks in a minute. Look at that, huh? Wow. Look how beautiful that is. Just kind of sink it down in there a little bit, give it that bite. So we're going to yeah. plate, we're going to let this bubble for a little bit and come back and show you what it looks like finished product. That crab's dying to show you what it looks like when <laughs> it's finished, huh? We'll be right back. <laughs> Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Welcome back to White Oak Plantation. It's summertime, and summertime means crabs. What are we cooking today, Chef? Well, you know, if I have a pair of scissors in my hand and I have a paring knife, it has to be soft shells, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> right? That's the only thing I can do with, uh, with this. Soft shells, you know, I, I just, I'm, I adore them. I love them. The customers love mm -hmm. them. I love them at, the, at my house. They're so easy to work with. A little bit expensive, right? I mean, um, is that because you can only they're only soft shell for so long? That's exactly right. You know, the, uh, the, uh, a, a crab will actually go soft shell if I remember right, probably about three or four times within its life. And for those who don't know it, the only way a crab can grow is to through its eating. Once it fills that hard shell, it needs to uh, to just go ahead and, and take that calcium and deposit it and let that shell break off and then let that new soft shell, you have to catch it just right. during that period. So of course that's what makes it more expensive and there are people who are now have these shedding shacks that they actually grow in them in. Wow. Uh, even uh, on Lake Pontchartrain in those areas, but especially out in the country. So we have soft shell crab here. Now of course this is a female with the apron on right there. Because of that's course. where it holds all the eggs? That's where it holds all of the uh, the roll right there, the, the, the eggs. And I'm going to just pull that off because they're easy to clean. Once you do that, you just kind of pitch it out. Uh, the mouth, of course, is uh, right here. And that's why a lot of people just take a scissors and cut that off. I just kind of pull that little mouth off of there and I take the eyes out just with my paring knife. I just rip it apart real fast. I don't want to. Not a recipe that you uh, stay very clean with. This is Not one yet. you got to get your hands on. And, and you see the water coming out yes. of that crab? It's all, it's waiting to go back to hard shell. So it's, uh, it's uh, just packed with that water. That's how it gets the shell off. Now I'm going to pull the little lungs out of here, we call them, right? The yep. little gills the or little whatever. The little filtration. Yeah, the little filtration. I'm going to pull the other side off right there. And I'm going to get them out, just kind of pull them clean. And right where the shell attaches to the membrane, there's a little air sac in there that most people don't take out. Okay. That little air sac, you, got, you have it kind of right there, right where the shell sticks to the crab. And I'll kind of go in there with my knife, and I'll pull it pull it out of there. It's just a little bitty sac that you want to get out. There. It's trying to come out. But anyway, so I just pull it out. It's a little chewy, and that's the only reason I take it out. And then uh, that's that's how it's done. Now, of course, a lot of people are 
uh, uh, say, oh, I don't know, I like the fried soft shell crab, they pop in. I don't know why they pop, but look at that water yeah. in that crab right. going into hot oil. So now we have our uh, fish fry, and the fish fry is, a, I, I actually mill my own corn here oh, at wow. White Oak. So this is actually the corn flour that comes out of my mill. This is fresh corn. But any kind of corn meal, any kind of corn flour, you should go corn flour first. Always season it generously with a little salt and pepper. Of course, you can use your Louisiana fish fry. That's really my, I shouldn't say that's my actual favorite because they're all my favorite, but I love, <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. So anyway. I love soft shell crab because I love going to crab boils, but I get frustrated eating regular blue crab. They just seem so much yeah. work, and this is so much easier to clean them. No, it, 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 it is. So then I would take that crab that's been cleaned. It's easy to do. I would go into a little egg wash. You ready to knock this out right mm -hmm. here for me? Just stir that up good. Egg wash is just egg and a little bit milk. You can put water in it, too. A lot of times people won't even use milk uh, to do that. The seasoned flour is there. I'm going to go ahead and... Dip it down in that egg wash. Nice let it, and let juicy. It, oh yeah, let it all drip out. And then uh, uh, just go ahead and coat that crab beautifully and like that. You can that. be generous with this because some of it's gonna come off. Oh, you better just believe it. Nice and and a lot of people will double dip it, right? Mm -hmm. now, I don't know if you do, but you can double dip it like that and put it right back in. And that makes the coating a little bit heavier. And uh, of course, you know, you've seen the hallelujah crab where you actually take the claws like this and <laughs> drop it in. And a lot of people will do that. And you just want to be careful that the claws are Stand you, back. You ready for that? Yeah. Uh, so if you put it in like that, or you put it in the other way, uh -huh. you can let those uh, those claws just kind of get nice and hard right there. And then you drop it in, and uh, the crab is going to cook really quickly, just until it flows. Let me get this uh, napkin here out. Uh, yeah, and you don't have to rush it. The crab's going to just go ahead and uh, cook in that nice clean oil. I'm using a vegetable oil here at 350 degrees. And of course this season, uh, this flour is seasoned uh, totally. And then we're going to uh, make a pole bar with this. So you see how it's starting to float? Yes. I would let my, I would turn it over at some point. The crab cooks very quickly. You know, I mean that crab cooks in a minute. Look at that, huh? Wow. Look how beautiful that is. Just kind of sink it down in there a little bit, give it that bath. So we're going to yeah. plate, we're going to let this bubble for a little bit and come back and show you what it looks like finished product. That crab's dying to show you what it looks like when <laughs> it's finished, huh? We'll be right back. <laughs> Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look how nice and crispy. And y'all, you know, I remind myself that every day a new generation of cooks go into the kitchen. You know, young people graduate from college, they go to get married. Every day we need to teach this over and over mm -hmm. and over and over again so people know to move it to the next generation. Just because right. we know how to do it and clean it Doesn't and fry Doesn't mean everybody else. They does. don't. So we, that's why we do things like this. Now, a quick little po' bar. I'm going to throw some, uh, I grill the bread. Put a little bit uh, mayo on it like that, a little bit of Creole mustard. And I you like recommend a French bread because it's longer and it can kind of fit? It's longer, that's exactly right. You got it, just like that. And um, a couple little pretty tomatoes on top, oh, a little bit so lettuce. Good. Huh? This was my grandmother's favorite food. She loved a good soft shell crab. Look at the size. And it barely fits on the bun. And you know what? Uh, you see how I uh, let the legs stick out like that? You know why, huh? Why is that? Hmm? That's what you eat first. You pull those legs. <laughs> Yum. Get you some soft shell crab and fry them up today. You don't want to miss it.
Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Coming up next week, an inductee to the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame who earned his way there to the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo. Paul's accomplishments are unmatched by any other drag racer in Louisiana history. He was a remarkable man. He loved his family, he loved his racing community, and he truly loved the state of Louisiana. So this honor, although it's going individually to Paul Candies, is for all drag racers in the state of Louisiana and it is beyond fitting that Paul Candies be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Candies also loved to fish. His father Otto started the Grand Isle Turf and Rodeo in the 1930s. Son Paul took over in the 1960s and helped it become the annual event that draws more than 15,000 fishermen and tourists to the tiny island off the Louisiana Gulf Coast. Special time of the year for us, obviously. Uh, we've been doing it since uh, we were kids. Our dad, our grandfather, so it's three generations long. Uh, my sons participate, so uh, we're four generations long in the Grand Isle Top and Rodeo, and it's just fantastic. Then we're going to head down the road to Buris. You're going to meet Ryan Lambert. He's going to break out the push pole and take us fly fishing. You don't want to miss that. Just trying to see if I catch one cruise in here. Another garfish. That's a gar. That's a big fish. So he's up there. You see where he's at? He's at that green bush right now. That, that green puff. I see plant. the ripple. I don't see the fish. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We have a Facebook page. We do frequent contests on that. Instagram and of course our YouTube channel. Subscribe there where you can see all complete episodes if you don't get Cox Sports Television. Mm -hmm.